Chapter 11, The Beggar Continued. His ears were filled with the sound of drunken laughter and his nostrils with the smell of sweat and smoke, spilled wine, roasting meat. He entered and made his way from table to table, his arms outstretched, begging for food. Not one of the suitors, not one of the revellers, took any notice of the old beggar until he came to the back of the hall. Sitting at a table covered with wooden dishes of sliced meat and half-empty wineskins was a suitor whose name was Antinous. When he saw the old beggar, he shouted, Go away! Take your filthy, flea-bitten, moth-eaten carcass elsewhere before we throw you to the dogs! It was at that moment that Telemachus came down from his mother's bedchamber. Antinous, he said, not only do you eat us out of house and home, you also break the sacred laws of hospitality, of hospitality in my father's feasting hall. Old man, come and sit down. With great kindness and consideration, Telemachus showed the old beggar where he could sit. He fetched meat, bread and wine. He broke the bread with his own hands and gave it to the beggar. Gratefully, Odysseus ate and drank. When his plate was empty, he got to, back to his feet and went back to the table where Antinous was sitting. He stretched out his hands once more. Perhaps now you will think again, or do you begrudge an old beggar the crumbs from another man's table? Antinous glared at him. I'll give you something. I'll give you something and no mistake. He picked up a stool. He drew back his hand and with all the strength of his arm, he hurled the stool at the old beggar. The stool struck Odysseus hard on the shoulder. But he didn't falter or fall to the ground. He stood firm and the stool clattered onto the floor at his feet. The suitors watched the old beggar turn and walk across the feasting hall without saying a word. They watched as he sat down among the shadows by the door and brooded in silence. Then they shrugged and laughed and resumed their drunken feasting. The story of the old beggar and the stool spread from the servants, from the, from the servants to the maidservants. From the maidservants, the story reached the ear of Pen ears of Penelope and upstairs in, upstairs in her lonely bedchamber. That night she came quietly down the stairs. The suitors had either staggered drunkenly homeward or were sleeping with their cheeks in pools of spilled wine on the tabletops. Except for the occasional grunt or snore, everything in the hall was silent. The old beggar was still sitting among the shadows by the door. Penelope whispered, Old man, old man, come upstairs, I would like to speak to you.